I'm not entirely certain what information is being sought here, but I will say this. When it comes to the thorium fuel cycle, you actually have to do something called activation. Activation is similar to breeding in the uranium fuel cycle, where the thorium has to absorb a neutron and then decay down into uranium-233, which is fissile and then can be used in a nuclear reactor or in a nuclear weapon. Similarly, in the uranium fuel cycle, if uranium-238 absorbs a neutron, it can decay down into plutonium, which again can be burned in a nuclear reactor or used as a nuclear weapon. If the uranium is irradiated in the core for a long period of time, then the plutonium that comes from that is called reactor grade. It's not so good in making a nuclear weapon. And so both fuel cycles require nuclear nonproliferation controls, lots of active and passive safety controls to make sure that that kind of thing never happens. And this process is what we call breeding when it's in the uranium fuel cycle, and it's really just activation in the thorium fuel cycle.